Hello, Psychedelic Renaissance, it's Tom Hatzis, the Psychedelic Witch, here to bring you a message of good joy and great tidings. Recently, people have been sharing a story about Donald Trump and how he wants to look into how he would be able to execute drug dealers. I wanted to make this short video in hopes that those people sharing that story will stop causing unnecessary grief and negativity in the lives of their friends and neighbors, which of course then ripples out to the rest of the country. Stop me when this doesn't sound familiar. Somebody posts a story like this one or really any number of stories, right, on social media? Then a whole bunch of people fight on it. There's a whole lot of negativity and venom just spit everywhere all over the place, right? Everyone's pissed. Everyone loses. Friendships dissolve. Nothing changes. Let's combat that together. In order for Trump to be able to execute drug dealers, he would first have to overturn a Supreme Court decision from 1976, Woodson v. North Carolina, which states, quote, statutes providing mandatory imposition of the death penalty are unconstitutional. Well, that's exactly what Trump would want to do. He would want to provide for a mandatory imposition of the death penalty on drug dealers. So if he's really serious about doing that, he would first have to overturn Woodson v. North Carolina. Even if he does that, somehow, because <laughs> he's a genius, he would then have to overturn 1980's Godfrey v. Georgia, which states, quote, Murder must involve a narrow and precise aggravating factor to be punishable by death. The thing is, the, there is no aggravating factor in a drug deal. I mean, except when they go wrong, but in just like a regular somebody buying one substance from another, there's very, there isn't too much of an aggravating factor. Usually people, one person wants the money, the other person wants the substance. But, <laughs> even if Trump... In the three years he has left in office, thank God, managed, uh, uh, managed to overturn Woodson v. North Carolina and Godfrey v. Virginia, he would then have to overturn 1982's Edmund v. Florida, which states, quote, Death penalty is unconstitutional for a person who is a minor participant in a felony and does not kill, attempt to kill, or intend to kill. Well, this one's kind of obvious. Drug dealers are not trying to kill the people they sell drugs to. They want them to stay alive and buy more drugs from them, right? So that's another one that I don't know. I mean, as smart as Trump is, that's a little tricky one that he'd have to work around. But even if with the three years he has left in office and all the brains he has in his tiny little head, he managed to overturn these three Sup Supreme Court cases, he would still have to overturn 1988's Lowenfield v. Phelps, which states, The aggravating factor making the crime punishable by death may be found in the definition of the crime itself as long as it is enough narrow and precise. Well, I would implore you to just, you know, look up the definition of uh, the legal definition of a drug dealer. There is nothing in there that could possibly apply to this. And there's another problem. Even if Trump did successfully overturn four Supreme Court cases in the three years he has left in office, there are still several cases regarding the definition of a capital crime pending. So even, like, like, Trump would have to then negotiate and work around all of those cases. And that's when and if they were even adjudicated by the time he's out of office. <laughs> so even if he did overturn four Supreme Court cases <laughs> in three years, he still might <laughs> hit a wall. <laughs> now all of this raised a question in my mind. What are we to do now with purveyors of tobacco, alcohol, and prescription opioids under Trump's new definition of a drug dealer? I mean, alcohol, tobacco, and prescription opioids kill the most people, right? So what do we now do? There are so many real problems in the world that we all need to face together. I think it might help if we stop sharing unwanted unnecessary, and at base, highly unlikely and improbable situations that only further serve to divide us. I'm Tom Hatzis, the Psychedelic Witch, reminding you that you free your mind by using your brain.